you know, it's interesting that performances take on a shifting, a shape-shifting quality. Here we are trying to pin things down that by their very nature cannot be pinned down. So to make believe, of course we know what make believe is. It's related to the Stanislavskian as if. It's related to children's uh, uh, bedtime stories. You know, let's make believe. It's pretending. It's being who you are not. But if you remember what I said about restored behavior, even if we are not something, we share in being that very something we are not. Uh, so make-believe is when we are conscious that we are putting on a Halloween mask or that we're uh, pretending for our friends or for our children or even if we're doing a con game. Make-belief is when these kind of actions create a substratum of belief, reinforce a substratum of belief, even as they create it, that people are willing to die for. The most obvious examples are, of course, religion. So that when someone believes in the divinity of Jesus Christ or the prophethood of Muhammad or that Moses led the children of Israel out of uh, uh, the land of bondage or that uh, Vishnu took a human form a number of times as avatars, including uh, the great hero Rama. These things are not in doubt for the people who believe them. And in actually performing the rituals of, let's say, the Jewish Seder or the Christian communion or the uh, Hajj, the pilgrimage to uh, Mecca or the Ramlila in India, these actions, these performances actually create the belief. So they, they, they create a reality that people live for, uh, celebrate, uh, murder for uh, in uh, religious wars, so that the domain of make-believe and the domain of make-belief overlap and influence and affect each other. Both are very, very powerful. One is when you know you're pretending, but maybe you're not. And one is when you think uh, what you believe is absolutely true for the whole universe, but maybe it's not. Well, a politician uh, especially in uh, the uh, so-called uh, democratic countries, when a politician campaigns, they uh, this politician always is making believe. They know that what they're saying on the campaign trail is not true. They know and we know that they have been costumed, they have been scripted, uh, they have been prepared, they have been rehearsed. It's uh, more tightly scripted than a Hollywood movie. At the same time, they are presenting this within the arena of make-belief. They want you, the voter, to believe what they are saying as the truth, that they are going to enact these things, that this is their true life, etc. and so forth. Then we have those uh, 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 picadillo critics, you know, the ones who stick little uh, uh, forks in them, uh, the, uh, who say, oh, this is not true, or oh, this is not what you said last year, to show that there's a gap between what the politician is saying now, what he's making believe he believes or she believes, and what she said previously. At the same time, the, the impetus of this rhetoric is to make belief, to make people feel that this is their actual social political reality.